Today we're looking at five old coins that you may have in your coin collection and different things that you can look for on those coins that can make them valuable. So as always, let's just hop right into it. Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Boy, do we have some mint error coins for you guys. This first one is a 1944 wheat penny. Now, 1944 wheat pennies in this condition typically are very, very common. They are not valuable in this condition. However, if you have one that has a mint error like this, if we flip the coin over to the reverse, you can see that the whole reverse of the penny is missing of the sweet penny and that's because the coin was struck onto a split planchet so it has a split planchet here and this penny ended up selling for 144 dollars at auction now had this coin been in much better condition it could have sold for a lot more money so not too bad for being in that condition now this next coin is a 1944 jefferson nickel now if you look on the reverse here you'll notice that big d mint mark above the the building. As you guys know, if you guys have watched my previous coin videos, when you see a big mint mark above the building on a nickel like that, you know that it is 35% silver. So these coins are always going to be worth like, you know, one to two dollars just in silver value, depending on the price of silver, of course. While we're making this video, silver is on the rise, by the way. So that is a uh, really good news for us collectors, right? Coins that I actually bought last month, a whole roll of American Silver Eagles, they already cost over a hundred dollars more so luckily i bought it while silver was a little bit lower last month all right so here we go guys this coin if we flip it over you can see that it looks cracked you see that line through there on the obverse of the jefferson nickel that is a lamination error taking place you can look for laminations on all kinds of different coins pennies nickels dimes and so on it can happen on all kinds of different coins right well because this one has that lamination very unique and cool looking lamination this coin ended up selling for 336 dollars at auction so nice little silver wartime nickel there with a mint error quick Time out, did you know that data brokers actually sell your information to scammers and spammers and anyone that wants to target you? That's right, your full name, your email, your address, everything is online. Just do a quick Google search of your name, put your city in, and you can see even your relatives next to your name. You can see your addresses, your former addresses, your emails, all of that sensitive information is available to the public, which you do not want. And that's why I started using today's sponsor of this video, Aura. Aura, that's right, A-U-R-A, Aura. Now my favorite thing about Aura is that I have all my passwords, my emails, Aura monitors everything, your credit score, your desktop computer, your mobile device, even your financial stuff, all sensitive information that can be hacked by scammers and spammers. You do not want your identity to be stolen. That's why I use Aura. I actually had a situation with a member in my family that had her identity stolen and it was a nightmare to clean that up. And with Aura, you actually get $1 million in identity theft insurance. So take advantage today, get your two week free trial. They are offering you guys through me, Couch Collectibles, a two week free trial only for you guys watching. So hit that link in the comments below, sign up today, get your two week free trial and find Find out how much of your information is being sold out there and get it all cleaned up. Stay protected with Aura. Click that link below and sign up today. Now this next coin, another wheat penny. Again, if you see a wheat penny like this in this condition, typically they're not going to be valuable. Uh, you know, it's very common to have wheat pennies in circulated condition like this unless they are a key date or have some type of mint error. Now, of course, this one has a mint error. We just looked at that lamination on the Jefferson nickel. Here is a lamination on a wheat penny. Much different looking on uh, this 1944 wheat penny here, but the coin sold for 80 bucks even in this condition, graded at a 45. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. 70 is the best grade or condition that you can get on the coin grading scale. So an $80 penny, not too bad for being in that condition. Now here is a buffalo nickel. You guys probably have some old buffalo nickels 
laying around in your coin collection. Now, this one is from 1929, and if you look at it first glance, you're not really seeing anything. You're like, eh, it's just kind of an old buffalo nickel. It's not a high grade or very you know good condition coin. It's not the worst condition coin either. You can read the date on these. Obviously, the buffalo nickel, they're very well known for you know losing their dates. Uh, they wear off very easily on these coins. Uh, so to have a date is great for the buffalo nickels. Uh, but this one is the estimate mark. So if you're not familiar with these coins, the estimate mark is on the reverse at the bottom there of the nickel. Now you can either have a, a no mint mark, a D mint mark, or an S mint mark on these coins, meaning the Denver mint, San Francisco mint, no mint mark is the Philadelphia mint. And this coin actually does have a die break. So if we zoom in here on the obverse of the coin, you can see that die break coming down from the rim of the coin. Very, very cool retained cud there. Also uh, a die break, retained cud, die break. And uh, from a famous collection, the coin ended up selling for $240 at auction. Not too bad for an old Buffalo nickel at a, a 35 grade. Pretty low grade for that one. All right, now this next coin here is a double strike. Now this is a very obvious type of mint error. Some of these are not as obvious as this. This one, extremely noticeable, right? You can see the design struck twice. It's a double strike. I think it kind of speaks for itself. It's an old wheat penny from 1910 that ended up selling for $720 at auction because of that mint error. Again, if these coins were higher grades or lower grades, the value can fluctuate based on that, the condition or the grade of the coin as well. Now this next one is not as noticeable. This is an old Indian head penny from the 1800s, 1889 penny here to be exact, one cent coin. Now this is a double strike and that design that was struck twice is rotated. So you cannot see the full date down there because of that. Really, really cool. You can see the, the lettering there twice, the design twice. If we go to the reverse of the coin, you can see the design rotated and double struck. Very cool uh, mint error, but if you're not inspecting your coins closely, I could see something like this just being passed up. Someone may think it's damaged or, you know, old grandpa's coin collection. We'll just sell all these pennies together for whatever price, you know, and they don't really inspect them. Something like this is going to be worth a lot more uh, than uh, just a regular 18 89 uh, Indian head cent in this condition. This coin ended up selling for $360 because of that double strike. So that's where really all of the value for that coin is at. So if it was a, a higher grade, better condition, it could have sold for even more, maybe into the thousands, but $360 in that condition. So always inspect your old coins and your coin collection that you may have inherited, or maybe you purchase coin collections. You definitely want to go through each coin and inspect each one closely closely so you don't pass up a valuable mint error. And don't forget to check out our sponsor today, Aura. And make sure you hit that link and stay safe out there, guys. Internet security is very, very important and that's why I use it. So don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me and until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.